Ooh, you're on a beautiful planet with unusual nature. Around you are ordinary people walking on this exotic planet. And now, get this, it's our new home! Humanity decided it was time to leave the Earth, and now we live very far away in another galaxy. But what happened to our home planet? Well, our solar system itself had an expiration date. It's been 7.5 billion years since 2020, and the Sun began to expand, absorbing planet after planet. Mercury, Venus, Earth. But the living conditions on Earth were unsuitable for us long before that. Let's go back there. In 4.5 billion years, our entire Milky Way galaxy will experience an incredible incident. The Andromeda galaxy will hit us at great speed. As a result of the collision, some stars will be thrown into distant space, while others will form new solar systems. But most likely, all life in the new Milkomedia or Milkdromeda galaxy will cease to exist. That's why people decided to pack up their things, get into new generation spacecrafts, and go to distant space in search of a new home. There can be an infinite number of planets in the universe on which humans can theoretically live. One of the main ingredients, the planet must orbit the star in its habitable zone. This means the temperature must allow the water to be liquid. We find similar star systems almost every year and have recently found the nearest one. It's Proxima Centauri. There are at least two planets around this red dwarf on which we can build our new home. But the problem is that this system is as far as 4.2 light years away. So we had to open our garage and choose a vehicle that could take us so far. Saturn V is a rocket that used to take humans to the moon. It could reach the speed 30 times faster than the speed of sound. Today, we have more advanced technologies, like the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. However, its speed is still about the same. It would take such a rocket about 113,000 years to overcome the distance to the closest star. So, you walk through the garage further and see the fastest human-made space object ever. The Parker Solar Probe. Its speed is a little less than half a million miles per hour, but it uses the gravity of the sun to accelerate. Let's assume we can build a rocket that can reach this speed. Now, we sit behind a star map, do calculations, draw diagrams, and 6,600 years. And now, let's look at the photon. These are the tiniest particles that travel at the speed of light. And an obvious thought comes to your mind. How do you build a ship that can travel as fast as a photon? Well, until recently, travel at this speed was considered impossible. Fundamental laws of physics say that no object that has a mass can accelerate this much. Energy is required to accelerate mass, and to reach the speed of light, which is about 186,000 miles per second, we need an infinite amount of energy. But it's still too slow. Raise your eyes and look at the sun. It's so close to us, but the light from it reaches our planet in 8 minutes, about the time it takes to go through the drive through and get your burger. And the journey to the nearest star will take 4.2 years. You can graduate from college during such a period. But we may have found a way to cheat the laws of physics and travel faster than light. Warp drive. It's a technology that manipulates space and time to break the laws of motion. In science fiction, it's a kind of feel that envelops a spacecraft like a bubble or a shell and allows it to significantly exceed the speed of light. And we already have a similar technology, sort of. It's the Alcubierre warp drive. Since it's impossible to move at the speed of light in normal space-time, the ship must move by compressing the space in front of it and expanding it behind it. So not only the ship itself moves, but so does the space-time inside this bubble. In fact, this will allow the spacecraft to move at any speed, even 10 times faster than the speed of light. But to warp space-time, the ship must be simply humongous in size. It will need the quantity of energy comparable to the amount of mass energy of the whole planet of Jupiter. But at recent symposiums, scientists began to say that there is hope. In 2069, NASA plans to launch an interstellar mission to explore inhabitable planets outside our solar system. We do not yet know the details of this mission. It doesn't even have a name yet, but it will be dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Apollo mission, the first man landing on the moon's surface. 
Here, near Pasadena, California, a small group of scientists from NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab are trying their best to make it happen. And their latest calculations have made everyone shout Eureka! It turns out the ring around the ship, which should create the so-called warp field, shouldn't be perfectly round as it was thought before. It's more like donut-shaped. This will greatly simplify the design and construction. And the best part? To test this technology, a spacecraft the size of Voyager 1 probe will suffice. Researchers are now aiming to reach at least 10% of the speed of light and launch the probe to Alpha Centauri. In this case, to overcome the distance of 4.4 light years, the probe will need about 44 years. For comparison, the Voyager 1 mission was launched on September 5, 1977. In 43 years, it's traveled about 14 billion miles and is the most remote human-made object. It's also the loneliest one in the universe. It has long since left the boundaries of our solar system and is moving further into outer space. But rest assured, scientists have a couple more ideas in their secret laboratories. There are rumors now that they know how to reach the speed of light. The Space Association is considering launching small drones powered by lasers. Nuclear force, as well as collisions of matter and antimatter, can give enough energy to accelerate an object to the speed of light, too. But their colleagues in a nearby laboratory are working hard to implement another technology – ion propulsion. It uses gas particles accelerated by the electric field. Simply put, your regular rocket is a daredevil on the road. He pulls the throttle to the max and burns an incredible amount of fuel to accelerate to the speed he needs. But ion propulsion is a careful old lady driving. She slowly presses the gas pedal and accelerates. On the scale of space, the old lady will have more efficiency and will be able to drive much further than the daring young man. Something we'll keep an eye on. Still, an unknown number of years will pass until there's a way to implement warp drive or ion propulsion. We want to make humankind interstellar. But first, we need to keep it alive, at least. Now we're actively developing technologies to send the first manned mission to Mars. Colonization of Mars will be the first stage to make our species interstellar. It'll be a kind of rehearsal before colonizing distant planets. We must understand that although the conditions on the exoplanets may be close to Earthly ones, we will still have to terraform them. We must test our technology on Mars to warm it up to the normal Earth temperature. We also need to increase atmospheric pressure so that water could exist in a liquid state and create an ozone layer that will protect us from solar radiation. After that, we'll be able to breathe freely on the surface of Mars without spacesuits. We need to master all these technologies before we can create a real warp drive. Centuries ago, people sailed the oceans and perfected their ships to fully explore our planet. Now, we will be the generation to build new ships and go on long journeys outside the Earth. Warp drive will open up incredible horizons for us. Take a look at our galaxy. There are countless stars. Around each of them may be planets, and on some of them, there may be life. Warp drive will allow us to get in contact with this life and explore our galaxy much faster. And this future is already close. Soon, we'll have the chance to join the pioneers, put on beautiful suits, and travel the expanses of space in search of adventure.